a great example of this is the current example of the U.S., Donald Trump. The greed of his individualism is in the tax bill that the GOP passed, which guts the middle class to inflate the corporate sector. It's in cutting health care for the people and leaving it up to the rich to dole out if they please. It's in the amount of hair gel he uses every morning. It's, it's enough oil to drown an entire fleet of seals. Right now, Trump and North Korean dictator King, Kim Jong-un are at odds with each other over a dick measuring contest, ironically, over a button. Kim Jong-un has claimed that his nuclear button is right on his desk. And Trump said, so is his, but his is burger. That's the failure of individualism at its finest. Why would the leader of the world's largest and most overfunded military talk like this? Well, it's because the only time the collective of the mainstream media praised him is when he participated in an act of war. When he bombed the Syrian airbase back in April of last year and dropped the mother of all bombs, Brian Williams had his first orgasm since the Bush era on national television. He was finally called presidential. They called Trump presidential because he did that. The collective praised his individualism for pushing war, and now he thinks that's what a president does. And for anyone that supports Trump's but hates whistleblowers like Snowden, just know that this makes America way less secure than revealing the surveillance states. Trump's boasts are basically saying there is a large button on the desk at the White House, and it's got all the nuclear codes sitting on a desk, and it's huge. If the nuclear codes are less secure than my iPhone, then your military shouldn't be taken seriously. I think the War Department of the United States, you know, the one that masquerades as the Defense Department, owes the American people a ton of money back and an apology to Edward Snowden. Although, this would not be surprising that if the nuclear codes are said to be on this desk and somebody does break in to find this button that has all the nuclear codes and they get in and they and they find the desk and, and then they look at the desk and it's and it's just a naked Trump with, with just his dick on the table. That that really wouldn't wouldn't be shocking in this situation at all. These failures are a myopic view on a much larger picture. What we are missing is the idea of the Gestalt. The Gestalt principle says the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. I learned about Gestalt in my freshman year of art class in high school, which just goes to show that even the basics of art can reveal the intricacies of a growing universe. Which is why those that want to control and manipulate everything end up cutting art education first. Art helps you think and develop as an individual that might help out the collective. We as human beings have the ability to take in complex pieces of information and figure out what to do with it. Finding meaning and the bigger picture in the surrounded chaos. Individualism and collectivism are two parts of this. The collective can make sure that the individual is taken care of and through the pursuit of their happiness, they are giving back to the collective. Sums of a whole.